Morning, morning, folks. We are packing up. It's day 30. Magpie just uh, put pants on. And she didn't check the pants for slugs, but that's where I put all the other ones. Great. That's really charming. She didn't like the that morning commentary. That joke came from... We woke up and there were a slug, 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 slug. It was a very sluggy campsite. Um, a lot of slugs around here. Could be because of the spring. Could be because... Of, because of the farm, but it was very sluggy. They're all on my side of the tent and I hate slugs. Yeah, she's not a fan of slugs, folks. Um, so yeah, day 30, um, and we're gonna go for another 30 or today. It's like 7, 10 -ish. Um, I don't have socks yet on, my feet are cold because I gotta put a little bit of tape on a little hot spot. Um, and then we're gonna pack up, probably get stepping closer to 7.30 and mosey. Just mosey on throughout the day. Good camp spot, though. Very nice camp spot. I'll always walk off point three for water and camp. Very good. Hi, right, folks. We walked back to the connector where we got off yesterday. That's a really good camp spot. Go check it out if your miles link up. Lots um, of slugs, though. Lots of slugs, but they got good pipage, so you don't have to bring your own, um, as well as nice little bench fire pit if you want a fire and there's actually a horse in a field close by too so pretty nice um but yeah we walked back to trail now we walk on trail for well i was gonna say today but actually for the next couple months but we'll just we'll just focus on today so apparently we were in the big footed area look at the little bird on top um as we're walking out Apparently we were in Bigfoot area. Hmm. Maybe that's what the grumbles and mumbles were last night. Bigfoot up produces slugs. Hi, right, folks. We're back on road now. Um, we had like a eh, point two or point three little detour through a farmer's field, and I like that farmer. Never even met them. Oh, 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 I caught it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wow. I'm keeping that footage in there, folks. That was a excellent catch. I'm gonna assume you're gonna just see a bunch of skin, screen getting smacked in the face, but caught it. Um, I was saying I like that farmer because whoever they were mowed their property for the hikers. That was very sweet of them. All right. We got white blazing on the road. FLT. With an arrow. I like it, folks. I like it. Folks, I think this is the first NCT marker on a tree we've seen in a minute. Um, pretty cool. There's the white blaze for Finger Lakes. Believe it or not, we are getting very close, very, very close to no more white blazing. Um, back to that blue blazes of the NCT. Finger Lakes is coming to a close. Um, we got tomorrow into Ellicottsville and then maybe two days max, maybe even less. And we're in PA, so hell yeah. Getting, getting close to that in New York, guys. It was a long state, but I'm glad it was our first state. Technically Vermont was, but I'm glad New York was our break in the trail because it was definitely a good break in and the flatlands that are gonna be arising are gonna be just cruised through so much easier. All right, it's gonna, almost time to get out of the puffy. Once again, folks, stay on your R's and W's in these little chunks of private slash trail land. Um, there's so many ATV tracks and two tracks and falling down logs and swamps and all the goodies that it's easy to get off the blaze every so so often. It's well blazed, but some of the turns are 
quick and abrupt, so stay on your R's and W's. Hi, hi. Hello. Yo, just got straight up Jungle Book up in here. We got some, uh, we got some Panthers. We got some, the Bear Necessities. Okay, it's better. I thought it was pretty thick. T-H-I-C-C-C-C. C C C C C C C. This is an old clear cut. Yes. Hi right, folks, I have a trail log right before the big climb. We're sitting at like 1,995 feet elevation right now. And I think our climb goes to like 2,008. Can't do it. I quit. I quit right in the middle of this field. I sit here and let the elements take me. Um, but yeah, we got a little bit more of a trail system for a while, and then we got a pretty big chunk of road coming up. So we're going to go tippity-toppity, flop this hill, drop down the other side, and just cruise. There's a lot of barking spiders around here this morning. Is this barking? Yeah, okay. Hi folks, I'm pretty sure we found the top at some point, but with that 20 feet of elevation gain, really didn't know where the top of Swift Mountain was. So, I think we found the top. Yeah, I think this is pretty much it. Yeah, 20 feet elevation gain, folks. You're gonna be climbing for a long time. You're gonna be climbing to the point you don't know what climbing was anymore. Back in my day, I used to walk to school uphill both ways. It's not possible, Grandpa. Oh, sunny, both ways. The base of the what? The uh oh, what was the first part of that word? I don't know, baby. Finger Lakes Trail, Pennsylvania Catskills. We go to the left. Pennsylvania, we're coming for you. Ooh, ooh. All right, folks, we're beginning a little bit of road walking. Pack time. Oh, look who that is. I went through the trailhead. It's a magpie. Beautiful horses. Oh, Magpie pointed this out. I didn't see it at first. There's a baby. It's a little, little baby. It is. Brand new. It's tucked right against the mom's, like, body. They're exactly the same color, so you can barely see him. Yeah. Oh, there it is. He's having trouble walking. He's still brand new. Oh, baby horse. So little. The other one's looking at us like, why are you staring at my horses? Oh, my goodness. What a cute little baby. Oh, you big show off, you. You big show off, you. Y'all just showing off for us, huh? You're a big boy or a girl. You're just showing off. All right, so you got a little bit of road walk to connect to. Um, the next time we find single track trail is Farmersville state forest um so you actually walk this road for a good little chunk of change um but beautiful rolling hills nice spot and there's a little gift shop if you want seems like it's gonna be a pretty cruisy day folks um yeah um like i've been saying we're begin we've been getting into the more spaced out hills and spaced out climbs so it's pretty good pretty cruisy Baby, there's a weight limit. <laughs> She's gonna kill me one of these days. Oh man. Can't help it, folks. I can't help it. Oh, whoever commented that um, the, 
in a David Attenborough voice. I know I mispronounced that last name. Um, that through hikers mating rituals are strange that the male seems to needlessly provoke the female. <laughs> Made me crack the hell up. Um, I agree with you. <laughs> don't, don't needlessly poke. Oh man, I was cracking up. Whoever commented that, you have some really good humor. I was cracking the hell up. There's a big barky situation going on. Luckily the owner is out. Hi folks, when you cross Farm View um, or Highway 243, um, it's in map system M, it's either M6 or M5. Um, but yeah, when you cross that and start this part of the road walk, stay on your R's and W's because um, luckily the owner was out in that last film clip, but before that owner came out, that dog was getting super aggressive, hackles raised, and was it within a magpie's bubble for sure. Um, that was probably, if the owner wasn't there, that could have been a, that could have been a seven one on the Barky scale. Um, not super enthused that we were walking by the property. So just be conscious. Um, the dog, it might give you its space, but it seems like it's gonna wanna give you a little nip. Whew, thank you, thank you. Thank you, the owner of that puppy. That was a lifesaver, or at least a bite saver. It's a small country. Congratulations, you are now richer than the entire continent of Africa. Ah, uh, that's, we need Europe, we need Europe. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's, that's a couple poppers. Yeah. All right, folks, we're about to get out of Farmer's um, State Forest or State Park, or it's just, it's a forest, um, it's not a park. But we're about to get out. Um, really nice park through here or forest, again, it's a forest. Um, pretty nice that the trail routed us through here, really beautiful. And um, yeah, didn't film it, but a little fun stuff is caught up to the magpie, been having some fun convos and just been cruising. And again, we miss you Hardy. You're a reoccurring theme. We miss you. So yeah, come join us out here <laughs> or sigh. We're cruising. What's up, Sai? I bet you're up in Maine right now. Probably Maine. Oh, that was a weird one. All right, folks. Nice little lunch break at the parking lot of Farmersville. Um, nice little sun patch. And there's not water here, but uh, there might actually be a little creek that runs across right there. Um, but yeah, nice little lunch spot. About 12.30, we're getting stepping again. Got about 20 miles left on the day. So, should be able to get into camp eh, right around eight again. Good timing, good lunch, good stuff, folks. Good sunshine, good cute, good cutie. Hi, hi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that what you wanted? Yes. Awesome. We're gonna start stepping. Really beautiful road walks this puts you on. Um, I'm not upset in the slightest. I've said it once, I've said it many times. I'm a fan of road walks. Let's you see these homes and these communities that you wouldn't usually see. But thank you, FLTA. You route us well. Buddy. <laughs> All 
All right, I don't know how that video turned out, folks, because it was a really quick dog, really quick hound that was super friendly. Um, but yeah, that was really cool seeing a friendly pup after this morning's pup. So we're in this little section. Um, just had a pretty good climb. Not too bad, um, popped up pretty quickly. But yeah, beautiful trail through here. A little wet through some sections, pretty muddy. But hopefully we're up on top of this plateau and nothing but cruise. A little hound pup. All right, so this is the campsite right off Pete Road. Um, as you can see, a fire pit and some flat spots to camp. So yeah, it's about 16 or 17 from Six Town campsite. So if your miles link up to there, grab yourself a piece of camp, piece of camp, piece of cake. Um, yeah, grab yourself some camp. Still doesn't make sense that way, but I think you know what I was trying to say. Ooh, slippery. Slippery. Oh, there's a nice sign. Ooh, there's a magpie. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Does it tell us how far Pennsylvania is? Ah, it doesn't. Follow the polka dots. Oh, more polka dots, more mud, more polka dots. Oh, two track. Definitely some logging or something going on through here because it is straight up mud pits. Um, a lot of cut logs, and then with all this taping, oop, careful, Constantine, watch what you're doing. And with all this flagging tape, it's back and forth, back and forth. What the f <laughs> Look what we found. Uh, little camp in the middle of all this mess. That's interesting. All right, follow the flagging tape. Hi folks, the trail pops you out. I'm assuming this is called Whiskey River Campground. Um, it's like a little RV park. The trail came out of that brush right there. Um, then we connect down into this road at Highway 98 and start a little bit of road walking. Really nice trail back there. I don't know if this is a campground you can stay. I have a very strong feeling it is not. It doesn't have an office or any advertisements. I'm assuming it's an RV, purely RV campground. In a pinch, they might let you stay, but I don't know, it might also be private. So, very nice part of the trail through there. That was really cool. Baby, there's a weight limit. <laughs> Second time today, folks. I got it. You wonder sometimes when she looks back, what is that <laughs> expression on her face? <laughs> oh, there's the weight limit sign. Yep, weight limit. Again, folks, uh, don't do the, learn from my mistakes. Do not joke about your partner's weight while hiking on trail when your partner's hungry when it's hot, when your partner's thirsty, consequences may apply. <laughs> they also may differ. <laughs> uh, the gun's already pointed at my foot. I might as well pull the trigger. Right, Hardy? I agree. Baby! Seriously, there's a weight limit! I saw that! <laughs> 
<laughs> Third time's the charm, right, folks? Third time is the charm. If you do it three times, it's funny. If you do it twice, the first time, you're going to get a dirty look. The second time, it's going to be an even dirtier look. The third time is when it becomes funny, right? If you do it three times, that's where the humor lies. It's eight tons. It's a big, 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 big person. Gun shots are a little too close for my tasting. All right, so we're in this little piece of land between Kingsbury Hill Road and Highway 16. Um, I don't know why the FLTA doesn't have any signs or markers or on their maps that it should be closed for hunting season because it's May 30th right now and there's a lot of gunshots that are way closer than you would prefer. Um, this is like the first moment I actually haven't heard them which that's how it is when filming, but they're really, really close. Um, so there must be land that is being hunted on around here, very close to here. So they don't have this as a hunting closure, but there's a lot of something going on around here. So if you do this section, um, proceed with caution because a lot, a lot, a lot of, Poppers going off. All right, we're popping out to 16, busy, busy road. Um, we're gonna walk this for a quick second and then it puts us back in the trail. That's an opinion, huh? Oh, there's a curly fry stand right there, but it's closed today. Check that out. Oh yeah, baby. But if it works for your miles, I don't know the hours on that. It's probably very sporadic. Pretty cool. It's right where you pop back out um, from that little trail segment. Cute little flower stand. Um, if you're road walking and you want to buy some flowers, go on ahead. Might be a good idea for me. Might be a good idea for me to get some flowers for Magpie, huh? With all the weight jokes I've been making today. <laughs> uh, maybe? Maybe. All right. You take a left off the road onto Bear Creek Road, and this will connect you into the next chunk of trail. Um, I think you walk this road maybe for a mile, mile and a half. Baby, there's a weight limit. <laughs> but this time it's less. So we might be able to get across. Four, four times this times, folks. That is the fourth weight joke I have made today. Should have definitely gotten those flowers. Baby! 
Baby! Be careful with the bridge! <laughs> that was a scoff. Fifth one today, folks. Eight ton bridge ahead. <laughs> Definitely should have gotten her some flowers. Uh, it's gonna be an interesting camp tonight, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, man. It only can withhold eight tons, folks. Eight tons. Be careful. All right, back into the forest. This is Bear Creek Forest that we're going into. Looks thick. All right, so it's about 4.45. Um, we just got to the top of Little Baby Climb um, once you enter Bear Forest. And, whoops, one second. We got about, uh-oh, I'm all tangled up. We got about eh, a little under eight miles left on the day. Um, we've done about 25, so we should be able to get there eh, right around eight o'clock again. Um, probably stopping for water along the way. Um, there should be a pipe spring or stream right before our campsite. So yeah, we're getting in there at another good time. Been cruising today. Um, Cruzy cruzy every day, baby. But um, yeah, it's been a really nice trail lately. Been really enjoying these days that we're just opening up the pace, setting the legs to cruise, and just going. Um, it's been really, very, really nice. Some of the trails been eh, a little rough with mud patches, but hopefully this force will be pretty sweet. So a lot of cool stuff today. A lot of good oh, feelings. All right, let's go. All right, we were wondering where this trail log was. It was up in the Bear Creek Forest a little bit, so. Got that signed, and now we're gonna cruise. NCT, FLTA, marker, two blazes on a post, so we go to the left. Oh. No. Oh. Oh. They all come over. Y'all are pretty. You won't get your hand nibbled off. Okay, then I go on then. I have filmed like eight clips in the last, I don't know, hmm, half a mile, if that. So this entire corridor is just like a donated tree corridor 
that people, I guess, get these plaques and make the area look pretty. Really cool. Really nice campsite in here. I don't know if it's private. Oh, there's a trail log. Trail log right here. Um, I'm guessing it's open for trail use. It's a very, this last little bit of trail, once you cross the road and it parallels the road for a while, it's a beautiful portion of trail. Like, very, very well maintained. Yeah, it's like welcoming for hikers. Yeah, like these people put a lot of work into it. This is super cool. Very cool. We go west. All right, we're getting into Bocce Hill State Forest. And this is our last chunk of trail that will drop us down to Highway 242, where we'll cross and get close to camp. Um, there's a woman actually walking her horse um, after work, or I guess today's a weekend. So walking her horse after dinner or before dinner and um, she stopped us and asked if we were gonna be camping back up in here. And we told her, no, we got a few more miles to go. And she's like, oh, we've been finding a lot of people setting up camps and kind of like deserting them on the horse trails. And we're like, yeah, <laughs> that's, not, that's not us. I'm, I hope we don't give off that appearance. Um, we, as soon as we said through hiking, um, her demeanor kind of changed and she became very friendly. But I guess around this area, they've been having, oh, yeah. Yeah, but I still don't think we look like we're the party folk. No, we definitely don't, but it's also like a long weekend. Yeah. I, I bet they've been probably, it sounds like they've been having an issue of people just coming in and leaving stuff on trail. So that's an issue everywhere though, but. Yeah, as soon as we said through hike, her demeanor changed and she was super friendly. I wanted to chat for a little bit longer, but we're still right around five miles to go. Got about four, I think. Got about four miles to go. A little around six o'clock. Oh, we want. No, you're right. We do about five. Got about five. <laughs> um, and wanted to get to camp early enough to be able to use a picnic table to cook dinner. So we're gonna keep cruising. All right, passing by a little pond, pretty cool. Um, and yeah, we're in cruise mode. So might be short snippets of video because we're trying to cruise on through. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, trail maintainers. Whew, this would have been a jungle gym to get through. So there's a shelter, um, it wasn't on Gaia, it's not on the imported GPX files, but it's probably on the um, PDFs. So there's a shelter right off trail, right there. Um, the water for it, you're gonna probably have to carry from the stream where I showed you that campsite, unless you want pond water. Um, it's about, about 30 miles from Six Town campsite. I think we're like either just passing 30 miles for the day or about to pass it so we're going about two or three more miles um the shelter good spot but we want to get a little bit closer and get another climb out of the way for tomorrow so we're gonna keep on cruising but yeah good shelter all right actually right by past the shelter um if you're going westbound if you decide to camp at that shelter um, put your stuff in it and then drop down, um, continue down trail, and you'll find a little creek that I'm about to pass. There's even one a little sooner than this, but I didn't film it because there were two folks camped out by there um, for the Memorial Day weekend. But yeah, you don't have to carry the water. You could get it within 0.1. Um, it's 
probably that information is probably on the PDF map too, but thought I would just reiterate it in case it's not. So yeah, if you're camping at the shelter, um, if you're going eastbound, you'll pass the water right before the shelter. If you're going westbound, chuck your stuff in there and go less than 0.1 and you'll find the aguas. All right, folks, we cruising now, baby. We cruising now. Um, gonna hit this road here shortly. Boyce Hill State Park is beautiful. It's really, really well maintained back through here. Really well taken care of. Beautiful state park. Um, so yeah, there's some spots that are beaten out by horses, but besides that, it's all Gucci. So I'm gonna hit this road. Magpie is gonna probably catch me on the road walk. She's quicker with the flat roads. Um, and yeah, we got the road and then we're pretty much in camp. We got the climb right after the road and I'll put us right into camp. Let's do it. All right, folks, I think that's our campsite. Two miles to the Cobb. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, we're cruising. It's still before seven o'clock, I think. 6.50, um, most of it's road, so it's not my camera that's off. Those clouds are just really dark and this is really light. But um, yeah, most of it's road, like 1.2, 1.3 maybe. And then it's just like a little steep up. So we're definitely gonna get into camp before eight. Um, and as you can see, like I said, Magpie right there. She's gonna crush the road. I'm gonna have to play the catch up game with her there. But um, yeah, we better go get it. The road crusher is moving. Um, maybe got about half mile left of this road. Can we bounce up into the hills? Let's get it. Look at that. There's a big old sign for the North Country Trail. You don't see that every day. Hell yeah. Apparently part of this was built by what, what? Oh, very cool. All right, folks, so our camp is at the top of that little hill. Um, it should be about 0.8 um, because it's 1.6 round trip. So it should be about 0.8 to get up there. And apparently there's a lot of pride in this trail, so this is gonna be nice. Let's go check it out. It's already immaculately taken care of. I like playing the railroad guessing game. I know. <laughs> I didn't mean to film it. Y'all, when you see this video clip, I did not mean to film it like that. That's just how it got filmed. I didn't do the zoom out when I got too close to Magpie. It's quite possible I might have just filmed your butt. Yes. No, but it was a very close up. <laughs> Y'all, seriously, I just didn't zoom out. But... We continue. Ooh, just twisted the ankle right before camp. Nice. Folks, on the way up to the campsite, baby, there's not, a, you pass a creek first, but if you climb a little higher, you pass that spring life. So, um, I don't know, maybe half a mile from this campsite, if you guys are doing the same miles, ooh, baby, that's some good agua. That's spring life. Um, so, yeah. Um, it is flowing very well. Very, very well. Wow, that's a color. Wow, that's a color. All right, I got right, it. So, that blue blaze leads to Cobb Bivouac, but also this other trail leads to it too. This is the White Blaze Trail, so I gotta continue down the White Blaze and then cut back in. Um, Blue Loop to White Junction. All right. Well, let's see. Yeah, so since we have to walk every piece of official trail to stay official for the FKT, I gotta walk the White Blazes and then cut back in to the bivouac site. So I gotta walk these for about 0.25, like that sign said, and then cut back in. Um, so yeah, because if I would have cut in there, we would have just continued the loop and connected back up to here. 
but this is the official trail. So I got to hold to the official trail, then cut back in. So I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled. It shouldn't be too far until I cut, cut up. There should be a good junction too. All right, so this is where I can cut up. Um, so I gotta go 0.25 to the bivouac up this way. If you see what I'm talking about, I had to go to connect to here instead of connecting to the bivouac up there because this is where we're gonna come back to in the morning. So now I can climb up this way. Let's get it. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful, folks. It's about 7.30, so it's a quarter of a mile. Um, so we should be able to see the, some of the sunset up there. Let's go. All right, folks, I'm about to set up camp, but we got another 33er in today. Another good day. Tomorrow, we are gonna pass that 700 mark, baby, in the first month still, which is pretty good for a slow first month. Um, that's a grill. But I'm going to set up and then I'm going to do the full spiel. I just wanted to show you this because I'm about to stop it here in a second. Cool, cool. All right, folks. That is it. That is the day. Got camp set up before 8. Magpie's cooking up over there. There's a grill right there. A tent right there. So there's not a lot of good camping. There's the fire pit right there. There's, I'm assuming that used to be the camping area, but it's starting to get overgrown. So we're actually camping right next to the grill, right next to the bench, because, yeah, there's not better camping. Um, nobody's going to come up here. It's 8 o'clock. Um, I don't foresee anybody coming up here. So, yeah, we camped right next to the grill. We're cooking up. It's going to be a good night. Just for one second, let's examine how much more space Constantine's stuff takes up than mine. Whose stuff? Where? Your stuff. When? Oh, you checked it all away. Ah, so I don't have any stuff. There was a map. Well, he's got stuff here as well. He's got one pile here. He had one giant pile on the table. Object permanence. If it's not there, it's not real. Meanwhile, I've got my food bag and then this stuff. Object permanence. If it's I'm not gonna, there. I keep threatening to organize this pack. I think I'm going to do it in the next town. Mm, if it's not there, it's not, it's not real. Uh -huh. See, all they can see is a sleeping bag in the tent and the blow up bag. Well, they can't see the pile from my angle. Mm. Can't see the pile. Deceptive editing. Uh, I don't edit. No. Deceptive angles, maybe. Angles of the dangles. You should produce your own reality TV show. Oh, God. No.